Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. A subtle... Seller. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth and ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about.
The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! <laughs> Secret living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh. Known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Lavino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator, and then he started this spooky monkey talk straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond the world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming! She is coming, and hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. Her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die! <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All die! Oh! The wolf! <sighs> sure he'd stay that way. He was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. If it's dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor.
Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello is the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact? I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife-beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <laughs> The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. 